really bad. It's a Friday night. It's the end of August. Oh, it's the 1st of September, isn't it? 1st of September. And yeah, the. Choked up. Yeah. It's stop, a, start, stop, stop. It's accidents and all sorts. So we've booked, or I've booked, a motorhome pub stopover near Worcester. I thought that would be easier. That would please here. We can have a pint. We have arrived at our pub motorhome stopover. This is Millie's first pub motorhome stopover. All right, babe? Yes, thank you. You tired now? It's all that driving. Four in. hours to do 200 miles. That's, That's a bit rubbish. It's nonsense. <laughs> it's even longer tomorrow. I want to get my carpet. Let's go and get some dinner. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Our food has arrived. And Mark oh. has got, what have you got, babe? I've got um, uh, Cajun wrap. Cajun chicken wrap? Yeah. Okay. Just spilled. Oh, no. Mm. And I have got a light bite steak and chips with a fried egg. Light bite. There's <laughs> loads. Good morning, world. Mark's in the bathroom. What are you doing? Brushing his long hair. It's about quarter past seven, the night after our pub motorhome stopover, isn't it? Mark's got his fancy coffee going. Yeah, my mocker. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, my stove top mocker. And are you going to have some breakfast before we yeah, sell? I'm not hungry either. You're not hungry? No. Just want your coffee. Okay, well, we'll have that then and then we'll get going. Bye! Hello. Hello. Nice pub, though. Oh. I enjoyed that. You know, it was really friendly people. Very friendly. Wasn't yeah. busy, was it? No, for a Friday night, no, it wasn't. It's probably the sign of, the sign of the economy that is really probably too expensive. It was very good, the food was good. And we were allowed uh, 25% off as well. Yeah, armed forces discount. Yeah. Yeah, it was nice. And they treated us nicely, the food was pretty decent. Yeah. We didn't have to wait overly long, did we? No, and you had a couple of pints, I had glass of wine, and we were good and we didn't have dessert. No. Right, onward. <laughs> Hello, we've just stopped about an hour down the road at the services. Did you lock yourself out? Mm. Right. <laughs> locked yourself out. So we just stopped, we're going to have breakfast. Well, Mark's going to have breakfast. going to have Ridge Monkey toast. Yes. Yeah. You've not done before, have you? No, I know, we'll see how that goes. It's done Ridge Monkey Crumpets, which were good. No, that's a lie. He's done Ridge Monkey Muffins, which were nice. Um, the crumpets you didn't like so much, did you? Crumpets didn't work. No. The toast might not work either. Just going to see what the toast is like. We'll see. And that's because our grill. Oh yeah, our grill doesn't work on it. Still it. waiting for. Um, it's got to go back to the dealers. To be sorted out, hasn't it? Yes. I've got me fruit and yogurt. It'll take me forever to eat. How's it doing? Oh. Too bad. 
something like it. Oh, you're going to do the crust? He loves the crust, don't you? That's your favourite, isn't it? Yeah, if, if, if you could buy a loaf of crust, <laughs> I'd buy it. <laughs> but they'd probably be expensive. Because it's the... I'm not sure they would make a loaf of crust. So they end up. Anyway, that was it. Is it all right? Mm. Yeah. It'll do. Yeah. Oh, man. I'll have to be careful that don't happen. What, you burnt it? You set the smoke alarm off. I'm opening the door. Scotland! William Wallace! Welcome to Scotland! Scotland. Woo! <laughs> William Wallace! I got you killed. Yeah, I'm his sparring. <laughs> I'm his furry <laughs> We're in Scotland, as we shouted as we went across the border, and we're nearly at our stop for tonight. But we've realised that we left one of our saucepans at home, so we can't cook. Can't cook rice. Can't cook rice. We can cook rice, but we can't cook it properly and decent. No, we've only got a tiny little milk pan, which would be no good, and then we'd have to cook the rice, take that out, and then cook. I think we're having curry tonight. So we have come to a massive Tesco Extra. Hopefully they've got a saucepan. Approaching landing levels, please take care. Approaching landing levels, please take care. Saucepan! We can have our rice. We've arrived at our overnight parking destination and if you get here after five o'clock for motorhome parking um, but if you get here in the daytime it's two pound well we arrived two minutes to five and they wanted to charge us two pound I was like no so we've had to move out of the way but now it says it's five o'clock so now we're going back, <laughs> back again Up. I'm so excited, I've wanted to come here for ages. <laughs> we can go and have a walk in a minute and go and see them. Yeah. So excited. Mark's just opened the fridge and a wolf is in there. Go on, go on. Oh my gosh. Go on, it might come back in. How did he get in the fridge? No, he, he went in the fridge. Oh. He didn't come out of the fridge. I thought he was in the fridge. <laughs> Right, fridge on gas? Fridge on gas. Okay, we are going for a walk now over to the Kelpies and we need to find whoever we've got to pay for the overnight stay, which I believe is £10. These 30 metre high horses heads, named after the mythical shape-shifting spirit, were constructed in 2013 and are a monument to Scotland's horse-powered industrial heritage. What can you see? <laughs> the heavy horses of Scottish industry and agriculture were used for pulling wagons and ploughs as well as barges and coal ships which links well with the location of these sculptures at the extension to the Forth and Clyde Canal. Opened to the public in April 2014, they received nearly 1 million visitors in their first year. Good evening. <laughs> and just a reminder, we're at the Kelpies. Let's look out the van. Look out the van door. So that's the Kelpies in the distance. And this is our park up for the night. Fantastic, 10 pound overnight no hookup there's a toilet here but um that's the park up for tonight all these cars will be gone later beautiful and amanda's cooking tea there she is my gorgeous wife 
get in that white person with a patchouli. <laughs> Hold on, it looks like one of those um, kids' darts that you throw. You throw them. What are you going on you throw, about? You throw these kids' toys. Well, not not pack toys, but the shaped toys. Anyway, I'll give you your tea. Vegetable curry? No. Don't think so. It's a green, green Thai curry. Vegetable curry? With um, chicken. Green Thai vegetable <laughs> curry? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Chicken. You have, I've seen it in the fridge, you lying <laughs> fibber. <laughs> Mate, so you see that? I nearly went home then. <laughs> that's, long, drove, that's a long way to go home. Well, oh, yeah, mate. Oh, <laughs> meat eater. But it's not, it's not Veggie Tuesday. Meat free Monday. <laughs> <laughs> nope, hey. Is it Mondays? It's Saturday today, darling. Okay. You're all right. I've got chicken. Let's sneak off to KFC and McDonald's. <laughs> That's a bit far for that as well. <laughs> We're not moving now. We're on chocks. Did you tell the, Did you tell the viewers that we had to move from where we initially were because they want us to park in the car park a bit rather than out there by the bus lane? There we go. Oh, well, you've just told them, so there's no need for me to tell them anymore. <laughs> like, we've measured the rice. It's 120 grams of basmati rice. Rice now Amanda she's cool is going to put water into the saucepan just cooking with Amanda yeah, cooking nourishing. with Amanda and Mark yeah 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 save some water that's it and then what Amanda's going to do then is she's going to steam boil the rice for 12 minutes I'm going to boil it for 12 minutes have you set a timer oh, that does go a bit quicker on here doesn't it is the gas on it's not boiling yet do you? no the gas is on okay it won't take a second. Okay. Do you have to ask Siri to keep the timer for you? No, I'll do that with it. Yes. Because <laughs> it's started boiling already. Here she comes. Green Thai vegetable curry. Green Thai vegetable curry. With the chilies left in. Oh, I've got rid of them. We have some chicken for you. Oh, chicken for me? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is really green as well. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're very welcome. We are heading back to the Kelpies. We've had our tea. The sun has gone down. The sun will come out tomorrow. It's gone down for now. Oh, yeah. It's going to get dark in a minute. And I'm going to show you my husband how amazing the Kelpies look at night. Oh, and you. And you, of course. Yeah. And, you. and me. Well, then. You guys. <laughs> I'm going to show you. Oh, you're lucky. <laughs> Change the colour all the time. I quite like it Lovely people. Morning. Morning. It's really early. Well, it's not really early. It's early for me. It's not even eight o'clock yet. And we're off for a little run. We're going to run past the little horses again. Big horses. Huge horses. Hello. Hello, camper. I don't think I've been for a run before eight o'clock in the morning for ages. 
lady. <laughs> Where are we running? We're going to run along the that way. Forth and Clyde Canal. <laughs> The Charlotte Dundas Trail. The Charlotte Dundas Heritage Trail celebrates the Charlotte Dundas, the world's first practical steamboat, and her creator, William Symington. There are a lot of information panels along the towpath explaining the rich history of Falkirk and Grangemouth, spanning over 300 years from the 1700s to the 21st century. So this is a canal sea lock, entry to the River Carron and the fourth estuary. Installed in 2014. The baby one. Hello. How are you? He likes you. Come over to see you. Naive, see? <laughs> you want some food? He's hungry. Oh, they're going to come. They want to come out and say hello. He's wagging his tail like a dog. <laughs> hello. You are famous now. <laughs> Welcome to our YouTube channel <laughs> with Adventures with Amanda and Mark. What are your names? Right, we've got to go now. They're quite friendly creatures, aren't they? Hey, we're back. I'm a bit worn out now. Four miles, you know? Yeah, but it's like flat, isn't it? Like flat. flat. And then we, we went towards the uh, mouth of the, the estuary there and it went into an industrial area, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, right. But... So we had to come back and then we went up the other way. Yeah, there's like nice. little woodland walks and stuff in there. Yeah, I think you could, we couldn't spend a day here. No? No. If you wanted to go to the Falkirk Wheel, it's three and a half miles. Which is that canal thing that. Mm -hmm. It's about, yeah, it's about four miles mm -hmm. from here. That's a world's first as well, right? Yeah, which you can walk or cycle or even run. You could cycle from here to other places. So you yeah. could make a day of it and yeah. then stay overnight here. Because it's on the, um, what do we say, the Cycle Network 76. So a motorhome then, if it parks... <laughs> Hang on, in Cornwall we're Cycle Network 3. Yeah. <laughs> so if you park here before, in daytime, before five o'clock, it's two pound a day yeah for well, remote homes there's a sign on the way in that says car parking is free and i read that car parking was free well, that's just for cars. but i think that must just be for cars i think they right. okay if you come in a motorhome and she said two pound for a day yeah. parking so obviously it was two minutes to five but i think it's two pound a day before five for motorhomes yeah. and if you want to stay overnight after five yeah it's ten it's pounds. ten pounds so all by together card. By cash. no cash because i was going to pay cash but mm. so that's pretty cash. good yeah, that's very good. Yeah. And then anyway. down by the actual Kelpies, there was a burger and chips on there, and a ice cream and yeah. coffee that had coffee little cake stool that had amazing mm, nice hot coffee. chocolate. Oh, sun's come out. Right, come on, babe, shower, breakfast. Let's go on. After a run, always make sure you stretch well. <laughs> Look at your downward dog, babe. Why is your bum moving up and down? Doing some twerking. Make sure you do some twerking. <laughs>
from seeing our friends. If you haven't already guessed, it was Cassie and Darren Brooks from the Babylon Brooks. Yay. If you're not already following them on Instagram or YouTube, then you really should because they are such a lovely couple. So thank you both for <laughs> entertaining us for a couple of hours. Yeah. And we are now going to get some lunch very quickly because we've got about a three, three and a half hour drive up to see my parents, Yay. your in-laws. <laughs> right, let's get some food. I'm starving. Just saying, so we're driving around the outside of the Cairngorm Mountains in Scotland. And, um, it always just makes me feel like we're abroad a bit. Out on his bike. So I just want to. Didn't you were too busy watching the planes. Anyway, I just wanted to say that we arrived at our campsite last night. We we're at um, Silver Sands site at Lossy Mouth, so we're right in behind or in front of RAA Lossy Mouth. So yeah, there's loads of planes going off. Because what is ace? <clears throat> yeah, we didn't get here till about seven o'clock last night because. The main reason for this trip is to come and see my parents and my sister. So we stopped at um, stopped on the way to say hello to them. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we're gonna finish the video now. And then the next time you see us, we'll be out on the bikes and yeah. exploring this little bit of moray yeah. in Scotland. Might even have a coffee stop. Yeah, I want a cake. Okay, I'm not okay. I'm not, we haven't done a bike adventure from the motorhome since we were in the Picos in Spain in April, it's now September. Mm. I haven't been on the bike that much either. Anyway, so yeah, <clears throat> we'll say goodbye. You've been late. <laughs> we'll say goodbye and we will see you next time. So, to you. Adios, amigo. Bye.